What's up, YouTube? I'm the one Lightfoot. I'm here with Vakas Butani. He's the VP of IoT Product Management at Cisco. Hey, Vakas. Hey, there. How are you? Great, great. So we're here at Cisco um, Live, and Vakas is here to talk about some of the releases from Cisco Live. Vakas, could you share some of the latest technologies in IoT? Absolutely. So we're super excited to be here in Barcelona. You know, we've just announced two brand new product lines. Okay for the industrial IoT space, yeah? So one of them is a catalyst industrial ethernet switch that can go on a factory floor, it can go in a substation, it can go in a, on a roadside, and then we've also kind of introduced a new industrial router product line. Okay, that's great. Now when you say can go with IoT, that's extended to the edge in places that yeah. are hard to reach or may have one POC and yeah. one person. Could you talk a little bit about that? Sure, absolutely. So I think what we are seeing is, is Customers, whether you're a city environment where you have a traffic intersection system or you are on a factory floor, you're a machine builder and you're making some product in your factory, more and more of those environments are connected using standard IP Ethernet technologies, right? And Cisco has been working with companies like Rockwell Automation or Siemens and others to help them automate and kind of network these environments. Now with this next generation products, they can take it to the next level with more PoE capacity, more networking capability, such that that industrial environment can now use, let's call it like more sophisticated technology to get better in that space. Right, so um, your IR routers, yes. I saw one of the features that they support now is SD-WAN? Yeah. Oh, okay, could you tell me a little bit about that? Sure, sure. So I think more of our, traditionally our customers have been using more traditional MPLS circuits, or they've been using networking technologies like that. So with these new industrial routers that we have released, we can now support SD-WAN technology with Viptela, right? So Cisco acquired Viptela technology, and with this new iOS XC, the new operating system in these industrial routers, they can be managed using vManage, right? And we're actually at Barcelona in our Whisper Suites. We're showing that off to our customers. We're getting a lot of interest on people can move to SD-WAN even in these industrial environments like they might be doing in retail or other carpeted spaces. Right. What I find to be awesome about that is that if you do have an environment that says that has like one POC or one person working, yeah. now you have full visibility. That's right. In, in those extended networks. That's right. Uh, yeah, absolutely. We talk about it, the extended enterprise, right? The network just doesn't stop at the edge of a carpeted space, right? The network exists on a roadside, you know, it exists in a kiosk, it exists in a distribution center, it exists in a warehouse. So with these new technologies, now we're bringing the best of breed Cisco technology into this extended enterprise and your users and IT users can now extend and how they manage the, all of the broader extended enterprise environments for our customers, whether you are in uh, retail, you're in transportation, you're in a city, you're a public sector customer, all of them can use the same technology benefit. Hmm. So that's going to benefit not only the customer, but also the network engineers um, that are in the field as well, right? That's right. So network engineers now are not just limited to this part of it. They can be part of a business, right? So they can go, you know, typically what we when we talk to IT, they want to be relevant to how the business operates, right? If you're in manufacturing, how do you make more products better? Now IT can, and network engineers are not just focused as a cost center, now they're part of the operations and they can be more on the top line or the business side of the business. Right. Yeah. Sounds like DevOps. That's right, that's <laughs> right. It's like making people more relevant to what they're doing and where they're going from here. Yes, Absolutely. Sir. Yes, sir. So you mentioned um, DevNet. How does DevNet tie in with the ecosystem with IoT and extending it to the enterprise and the business? Sure. Look, I think in IoT, one thing is that no one company, how big or small, can actually make IoT real for our customers. It requires a whole ecosystem. So when we think about the ecosystem, you know, in addition to our great products, we're actually releasing blueprints, right? That is like documented, validated designs such that customers can kind of confidently deploy the technology. We are also bringing together DevNet resources. So on IoT DevNet Zone, we have we have uh, sandboxes, we have training, we have labs, such that users can get started by playing with the technology. And also for our channel partners, we're actually giving them extra training. We call it the IoT specialization program, by which our partner community can get more skills, such that they can be more confident and profitable when they go engage with the products. So this week, we're not just talking about the product, but we're thinking about all of these four elements working together, documented designs, DevNet, and a channel partners, such that they can tie it all together and grow and be successful with IoT. I see Cisco shifting its, the way it operates with business. 
and it's not necessarily just Cisco managing everything. They're actually really trying to build the customer and support the customer on a totally different landscape than most of, um, companies, and that's yeah. awesome. That, yeah, exactly, because especially you know when we get outside of just pure IT and networking, it's a whole big world out there. You need different people and, and, and environment. You need skilled people, labor, and people who can do the work. You gotta need software developers, you need channel partners who can kind of tie it all together. And with IoT, we're kind of kind of embracing the ecosystem to make our customers successful. That's great, I'm excited. Thanks. Thanks.